Uh, the um, second inning um, was one that really put him in a bad spot with you know, gets 0 2, hit Bassman, then a walk right behind him. Both of those score. Uh, we make a throw later that lets a guy advance that um, ends up giving up that third run, and that put us on our heels. You know, we've uh, had a couple times where, you know, when you're, when you're uh, struggling overall as a club, uh, you know, those shutdown innings are really important, and we come out and score one early. Um, it's really important for us to be able to, to put up a zero. But, you know, Mike, uh, you know, I think he only gave up four hits. Um, uh, just a couple of things like the hit batsman and walk ended up um, – Ended up hurting him, but thought his stuff looked pretty good. He had some strikeouts, got some swing and miss. I, I thought both breaking balls were good again. Um, just unfortunately, wrong things at the wrong time. Annie? Hey, Mike. Um, when you have that many hard hit balls all, all over the place and, and they land for outs, um, how hard is it or difficult is it to balance trusting that process um, against wanting and needing results? Yeah, results. This is a results-oriented business, and um, we want to see uh, the positive results. But we also make sure um, that we're, we're continuing to talk to the guys when they do have the hard hit outs. That listen, that's what you can control. That's a really good approach. Um, the bigger picture is the results at the end of the game, and our guys are wanting to get things done so bad uh, just because they know how uh, we need to get get on a good get on a good streak. Um, and uh, in, in the individual results are always going to be there. It's hard just taking a great at bat, but you ended up with an O for today. Um, it's just uh, the reality of the business. But I mean, if you look through as I'm counting, uh, we had a number of guys who squared some balls up without anything to show for it today. Um, so we're going to continue to, to tell them the truth. And the truth is, you know, stay the course with hard hit. And um, that's going to play out over the long haul. Bye. Mike, you, you kind of alluded to this, but uh, when you're in this kind of streak, um, you're dealing with a lot of different things. And I, I suppose pressing might be one of them. Um, what What is it you're seeing in that sense with these guys right now? Yeah, bye. I'm I'm not so sure that um, you know pressing is always a bad thing. I mean, I, I see pressing and uh, urgency almost as the the same. Um, as long as it's controlled effort and, you know, you don't have pitchers on the mound trying to overthrow, that's pressing. Uh, you know, we've got guys that are coming out and making pitches. We've got guys who are taking some pretty good at-bats. It's just we're not able to put a lot of things together. And it does seem that when we um, when we make a mistake, uh, it gets amplified. Um, so it's just a, it's a bad run. You know, part of the conversation that I just keep – having and I had again with the guys yesterday um it was just a reminder this was a really bad week um we're going to have some really good weeks uh, it's not our bad our last bad one um it's just how do we continue to play the game and um try not to try not to let it linger too much it's hard to let them go though when they all stack up just like I talked a couple of days ago um about not having a run scored it you know it. You want to. You want to fix it. Um, and it add to guys taking bigger swings than what they ought to. Maybe so. Um, but overall, uh, you know, it's uh, it's just something we're going to have to put our head down, and keep fighting, and realize this is part of the game.